We're going to have some good, funny times. You've got a big surprise coming to you. Every day, I'll feed Mason some new part of you. You've thought of everything. All new Hannibal, here on NBC. On The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, Colin Farrell drops by NBC Tonight. On WGEM News right now. A Cahoka Auto Parts store destroyed in a fire. Tonight, the owner speaks out after police say a former employee is to blame. I would just love to ask him why. A budget impasse means Illinois state employees may not get a paycheck soon, but now, plan B. And with so much flood damage, Missouri is asking for federal assistance. But will it help residents most in need? We're talking about people lost everything. Now, from the Tri-State's News Leader in High Definition... This is WGEM News at 10. Good evening, everyone. A Cahoka business owner is still picking up the pieces tonight of what's left of his store after a man allegedly set the place on fire early Tuesday morning. Now, that suspect is behind bars, but his connection to Ott's Auto Supply goes back several years. Wasn't a whole lot they could do. I mean, so many chemicals, so much fire everywhere. Bill Ott is still devastated after his auto parts store burned early Tuesday morning. While he and a group of volunteers are trying to save what they can, there we go. the business is a total loss. 27-year-old Dominic Egley was arrested in connection with the fire and charged with arson along with burglary and stealing. When Ott heard who the suspect was, he was stunned. That's because Egley is a former employee who worked for him about five years ago. According to court documents, Egley, who has a prior burglary and theft record, said he knew how to get into the building. Kid that we thought we were helping out, given a chance, and didn't work out that way. Cahoka Police Chief Bill Conger doesn't think Egley acted alone. Conger believes at least one more person is involved in a crime that's affected many more than just the owners and people who worked there. Hundreds of people stopped in and out here asking if there's any they can, anything they can do to help out and bring food, bring drinks for people volunteering. and It's it's really nice to see. It's, it makes you feel a little better about your community. But amidst all the help, Bill Ott still has one question for Dominic Egley. I would just love to ask him why. Ott is in the process of setting up a temporary location nearby, and the plan is to demolish the old business on Monday. Dominic Egley, by the way, is still in jail. He's back in court July 30th. All right. Well, the temperature is not going to be as cool tonight as they were last night. Take a look. We're still sitting at temperatures that are in the upper 60s to mid 60s. We'll drop down tonight with a cloudy sky and a couple of scattered showers, especially across the southern half of the tri-state area overnight tonight. Temperatures only down to 63, a mostly cloudy sky, a little bit of a southeast wind. We're going to talk about a hot weekend coming up in just a few minutes. Brian, thank you so much. Well, the recent flood damage in Missouri is bad enough, and now the governor is asking for federal help in 50 counties. Right, but residents in Taylor who were hit hard are not counting on government money anytime soon, if at all. WGM Siobhan Anderson joining us live now from the Fabius Village Trailer Park in Taylor to tell us, Siobhan, how these residents are getting help. Well, Gene, if you just take a look right here, these are closed toys being burned right now. They were all damaged in the flood, but today local residents got a chance to meet with organizations that can help them get some of these items back and hopefully get back on their feet. Uh, I had a total loss, and uh, you want the amount? Uh, 28000 for me. Marsha Gilbert waited in line today at the Apostolic Christian Church, waiting for answers. Nearly two weeks after flooding impacted more than 150 residents in some 50 homes in the Fabius Village trailer park. The Red Cross set up a multi-agency resource center, a one-stop shop, giving families and residents like Marsha the opportunity to meet with agencies for long-term recovery. They provided resources like insurance, housing, and mental health. Yesterday, Red Cross, Salvation Army, Southern Baptist, uh, United Methodist Church. John Hark with County Emergency Management says Governor Nixon signed a state declaration back in May. Now he's asking for federal help, but that only covers county-owned damage. What I'm striving for and pushing for now is individual assistance, and that's where they come in and help these people. And uh, we're, we're talking about people lost everything. 
so they need help. At the trailer park, residents burned flood damage trash today, part of the ongoing cleanup. State officials came through the area this morning to assess the damage, working to get a cost estimate for federal applications. But still, if the feds provide individual assistance, that could take weeks to come through. Marcia says she can't wait. For her, it's time to move on. Well, right now we're in Palmyra. Uh, we were lucky enough to get uh, another mobile home temporarily, and hopefully we're going to make Palmyra our new home. If a federal assistance is approved, it would only cover 75% of county owed damage. Nixon has already said he's going to try to get money to non-government organizations like the Red Cross and local churches. That money would then be dispersed to local residents. Reporting live in Taylor, Siobhan Anderson, WGM News. Siobhan, thank you. New tonight at 10, state workers caught in the Illinois budget battle could have some relief if their paychecks are stopped. Illinois' treasurer announced today that interest-free loans will be available to state workers if the budget stall means payroll checks won't be issued starting July 15th. Now, state employees have to apply for the loan through a participating credit union, and then the bank decides if they're eligible. We had looked at it a couple other times during this type of situation, but everything was always resolved before we got to this point. Um, it's very close. It could be as early as next Tuesday or Wednesday. An estimated 60,000 state workers might qualify for this loan program. And for more information and the guidelines, visit your local credit union. The Army announced today that it's cutting its force size by 40,000 soldiers over the next two years. The new cuts will shrink the Army from 490,000 to 450,000 soldiers. The Army blames automatic spending cuts, known as sequestration. The cuts will affect nearly every Army installation, both in the U.S. and overseas. And the Army warns that unless budget changes are made, it may have to cut another 30,000 troops by 2019. The Department of Housing and Urban Development is tightening enforcement of fair housing laws, all hoping to diversify neighborhoods across the country. HUD's new rule will require cities to identify persistent patterns of racial bias in their communities and work to eliminate them. It will also allow the government to withhold money from those communities that fail to address discriminatory policies. The new rule takes effect after 30 days days but will be phased in over time. With the stroke of nine pens, the Confederate flag in South Carolina is coming down. We've got reaction from the state's governor. And a happy meal at a Florida McDonald's has left one family very unhappy. We'll tell you why. Poison control centers are seeing an increase in calls for a problem often associated with e-cigarettes. We'll take a look at the danger and what lawmakers are doing about it. That's tomorrow on Today. Ryan booked a flight online, but they didn't tell him you can't get a cab for flights arriving at 3 a.m. The Travel House of Quincy and Apple Vacations know where to book you and when to book you. Let the experts help you travel better with Apple Vacations and Secret Capri Resort. 33% of our kids are overweight, so give them healthy snacks to choose from and make a game out of it. My mother says to pick the very best one. The more you know. Brought to you by Memorial Hospital, caring professionals close to home. Carpet One wants to help anyone in our community who's been a victim of water damage or flooding. We empathize with anyone during this difficult time, and we want to help. Come in now and pick from our selection of tile, carpet, vinyl products, and more. For the month of July, we'd like to offer discounts on any flooring to anyone in need due to flooding. And we'll even pay your taxes. Only at your Quincy Carpet One. Come on in and let us floor you. See the all-new 2015 Ford F-150 at Bob Riding's Westtown Ford in Jacksonville. It's lighter, stronger, and smarter, making it the most efficient Ford F-150 ever. Check us out online at westtownford.com. Sweat for a Vet is a benefit for the Great River Honor Flight on July 17th. It's a basketball game featuring the Missouri State Highway Patrol, Quincy Police, and Adams and Lewis County Sheriff offices. Admission is just $5 for a great night of supporting our veterans. Come out and support Sweat for a Vet. This portion of the news brought to you by Hilbing Auto Body. If it happens to you, just tell them. Take it to Hilbing. From WGEM in high definition with Gene Kennedy, Leslie Van Ness, Storm Track Weather with meteorologist Brian Inman, and sports director Ben Barth. This is WGEM News at 10, the Tri-State's News Leader. 
Well, after flying for more than a half century at South Carolina State House, the Confederate flag's hours there are numbered. South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley signed into law the bill that will bring down the Confederate battle flag from the Capitol grounds. Now, although decades in the making, the signing comes just three weeks after that tragic shooting of nine worshipers at the Mother Emanuel AME Church in Charleston. The measure to remove the Civil War banner turned into a heated and emotional battle in the House of Representatives that finally ended with a historic vote. We are a state that believes in tradition. We're a state that believes in history. We're a state that believes in respect. So we will bring it down with dignity, and we will make sure that it is put in its rightful place. Nine of the pens that Governor Haley used to sign the legislation will go to each family of the Emanuel Church victims. The flag will be removed tomorrow at 9 a.m. Attorney General Loretta Lynch announced today that federal marriage benefits will be offered to couples nationwide. Critical programs for veterans, elderly Americans, and disabled Americans that the federal government couldn't give to same-sex couples that lived in the states that didn't recognize same-sex marriage will now be available to them. New York State will spend $300,000 to repair the damage that was caused by those two escaping prisoners. Richard Matt and David Sweat did a lot of damage to the Clinton Correction Facility when they made their escape early last month. Now the work includes repairs to pipes, walls, and fences that authorities say Matt and Sweat cut through with tools provided by prison employees. One of the symbols of unrest that followed the fatal shooting of Michael Brown in Ferguson, Missouri is getting new life. The site of the quick Trip where Brown and a friend were last seen before the shooting will be rebuilt as an urban league community center. A spokesperson for one of the developers handling the project says it will honor a pledge for minority and female participation in the center's construction. Demonstrators gathered outside Donald Trump's new hotel in Washington, D.C. today protesting his recent comments about Mexican immigrants. <laughs> Members of the Latino community and local politicians want Trump to apologize for his comments during his presidential campaign kickoff speech when he said that illegal immigrants from Mexico were bringing drugs and crime to the U.S. and that some are rapists. The family in Tennessee believes a toy they got in a McDonald's Happy Meal is cursing at them. Take a listen. Now, family has also, another family in Florida also reportedly got a toy, that a minion that used profanity and said something even worse. McDonald's has released a statement saying minions speak minionese, which is a random combination of many languages and nonsense words and sounds. Next on WGEM News. All right. Hey, we've got a weather forecast that's got some heat to talk about. We're going to give it to you in English right after this. <laughs> Welcome to Toyota. I've got a conference call in 15, but I'm looking for something reliable, stylish, lots of technology. Give me the elevator pitch, go. Well, there's the 2015 Toyota Camry. It's got a bold design, plus available Qi wireless charging capability. Sold? Wow, you should be a professional spokesperson. I'll look into that. Get 0% APR for 60 months on a new 2015 Camry. Plus, every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no-cost maintenance plan. It all starts at Toyota. Let's go places. Tempur-Pedic at the guaranteed lowest prices. That's the right sleep center, Hannibal. Here's today's mortgage rates, courtesy of Mercantile Bank, a United Community Bank. Help to keep your kids safe is just a click away. Hello, I'm Dr. Chris Solero, and this is Be Well with Blessing Health System. Injury is the leading killer of children between the ages of 1 and 14. To help increase public awareness and reduce preventable childhood injuries, the Adams County Health Department sponsors Safe Kids Adams County. Safe Kids Adams County is active in a number of ways, including educating people about car seat safety and organizing car safety seat checks, donating bicycle helmets and carbon monoxide detectors, providing safety training for professionals, providing educational materials and presentations to schools, parents, daycares, and service clubs, and participating in health fairs. Get child safety tips and stay up to date on the latest Safe Kids Adams County events through their Facebook page and on their webpage. The address is on your screen. I'm Dr. Chris Solero. I'll see you here next Thursday at 6 and 10 p.m. for Be Well with Blessing Health System. This water came straight from the kitchen faucet, and it may look clean, but this water is full of nitrates, chlorine, and hardness. Culligan AquaClear Systems can rid your water of all of this. 
What's in your glass? Culligan. Better water, pure and simple. Happy Independence Day! When the Tri-States gets together to celebrate our country's independence, it's quite the party. Thank you to everyone who celebrated with WGEM. Whether you were at the Illinois Veterans Home festivities in Quincy or in Hannibal, enjoying the fireworks in America's hometown. Thanks to our sponsors who helped make this year's fireworks the best ever. Community events like the July 4th celebrations show us how we truly are better together. This portion of the news brought to you by Pogue Auto Plaza, your beer at GMC and Cadillac dealer in Quincy. GEM storm track weather with meteorologist Brian Inman. Got there. Mid-70s today. 74 for a daytime high temperature. We thought about 75 would be it. 58 was the low this morning. That's on the cool side. The best news on the whole little almanac thing there is that uh, precipitation. None in the gauge. Uh, we've uh, got none in the gauge. All those is good, good news for, I think, most folks in the area. We're kind of done with the rainfall. We've got some in the forecast. Hannibal Sky Cam, courtesy of the folks at Tom Boland Ford. Southern portions of Marion County down into uh, Pike County, Missouri, Pike County, Illinois, Rawls County, Missouri may see some scattered showers tonight. Dew points at around 60. The relative humidity on the strong side at 80 percent. Wind has been light and variable. And again, the barometric pressure has been falling, but uh, it's been fairly steady for the most of the day. 67, currently 66 in the Keokuk area. Temperatures everywhere in the tri-state area. It doesn't matter where you're at. You're all right there in the mid 60s tonight. And that light wind flow is currently a little bit out of the southeast and east-southeast. That's good news for us. That keeps the temperatures up and keeps us out of what will be uh, temperatures in the low 60s as opposed to the upper 50s. And then daytime highs for tomorrow, back into that summer swing. Not quite there just yet. That's a touch below what is average with a daytime high right around 81 degrees. We'll see some peaks of sunshine mixed with what could be a little bit of scattered shower activity. Watch what's going on in your satellite radar. This area of low pressure tracking south of the St. Louis area. It is bringing some moisture up into the southern half of the tri state area. I think for the most part this won't affect all of us when we kind of take a, a wider look at what's going on. That area of low pressure continues to track across southern Missouri. The next thing we've got to worry about is out here to the west. It will track along that same frontal boundary and that boundary will move slightly to the north and that will bring in the chance for showers as we go through the late daytime hours on Friday and possibly into Saturday morning. Futurecast has high pressure over top of us and scattered showers. I believe they should stay all on the southern half of the tri-state area. Adams County you stand a chance there to see a couple of scattered showers. Everybody to the north up in the Keokuk area, Macomb area, I think you'll miss out on these showers overnight tonight and even through most of the day tomorrow. Frontal boundary starts to snake up into the area. Uh, this is overnight, Friday night into Saturday when we have the potential for some scattered showers across southeast Iowa and the northern half of the tri-states, maybe a little bit of thunder. This boundary starts to wash out, but before it does, right here we start to see a little bit of scattered shower possible late in the day on Saturday. This doesn't look like a whole lot, and it doesn't look like any thunder or anything to get excited about. Uh, what it will spell, though, is this warmer air sliding up into the tri-state area, especially on Sunday when we'll see more sunshine. Tonight, 63 degrees. We've got a mostly cloudy sky. I talk about a few thunderstorms and scattered showers on the southern half of the tri-states. Southeast wind at around 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tomorrow's daytime high, ticking it up a little bit at around 81 degrees. All of that with a little bit of rain first thing in the morning and then again later on tomorrow night. That is primarily a Friday night for the northern half of the tri-states with a 70 degree overnight low. Everybody stands a chance on Saturday for a little bit of scattered shower activity. The chances are very, very, very slim on Sunday. That should be the peak pick day of the weekend. Uh, both of them, you're going to have to enjoy the heat to get out for these. Temperatures uh, at around 90 on uh, Saturday and Sunday, both even with the cloud cover around on Saturday for part of the day. Temperatures 90 when you head back to work on Monday, 90 on Tuesday, dog days of summer. Yes, they are here. I'm waiting, though, for you to say four or five days in a row with no chance no of rain, no, no scattered that, shower. That, that may happen later in August. Right now, June, with all this moisture around yeah. July, not going to happen. Okay. All right. Thanks, Brian. Mm -hmm. Well, warning labels on over-the-counter pain relievers are about to have stronger language. We'll explain. Also still ahead, being in the dentist chair, that could be especially scary for kids with autism. But now there's a way to calm their fears. We'll show you next.
This portion of the news brought to you by Pogue Auto Plaza, your beer with GMC and Cadillac dealer in Quincy. Here at County Market, quality and value are one and the same. Take a look. You've got to see all the new low prices on thousands of items throughout the store. Check out this meal maker. Boneless, skinless chicken breast is just $1.97 a pound. Fresh and sweet southern peaches sold in totes are only 79 cents a pound. And pick up 12 pieces of delicious county market fried chicken for just $9.99 in our deli. The best value on the products we use the most. At my county market. You want to feel connected, informed, included, inspired. So when important things happen, we're here. Your local TV and radio broadcasters. America's number one source for news, weather, and information. On every screen in your life. We are broadcasters. Always here for you. Wherever here may be. Text TV to 52886. Tell Washington local stations matter. We are third-generation United Community Credit Union members. When I was 16, I got my first car loan here. I've been a member here since I was five years old, and I've worked here for over seven years. It is so rewarding to help family and members with their financial needs. At United Community Credit Union, I know my members, and my members know me and my family. I have an account, too. that's more than just easy to scrub. If you want a paint that actually repels dirt and grime. If you want a paint that stands up to life's wear and tear. Only this can. Regal Select from Benjamin Moore. Paint like no other. Check it out today at Midwest Paints and Home Center, Quincy and Hannibal. dentist may be uncomfortable for some of us. Yeah, and it can be absolutely terrifying for children who suffer from severe sensory issues, especially those with autism. Families face hard decisions like restraining or even sedating their kids, even skipping dental care entirely. Well, now listen to this. A team of dentists and occupational therapists in California may have found a solution. Yeah, Erica Edwards reports. The sound of Legos crashing to the floor doesn't seem to bother nine-year-old Sir Warren. But something else does. I do like that drill. The grating noise of dental tools in his mouth sent Sir, who's on the autism spectrum, into panic mode. It's difficult to watch and heartbreaking for his mother, Janita, who had to hold Sir down during cleanings. It really hurt. It hurt to see my son suffer. You've been losing some teeth, huh? Uh -huh. You had the tooth fairy come by? Uh-huh. A sensory adapted dental environment like this may help. It's a collaboration between the University of Southern California and Children's Hospital Los Angeles. What we're trying to do is basically eliminate some of the triggers that we know can lead to adverse behavior in childhood autism. Lights are dimmed, soothing music is played, and slow moving visuals are projected onto the ceiling. Some kids are comforted by a special seat cover called a butterfly that wraps them in a deep pressure hug. Researchers tested the soothing environment in a small study of 44 children, half with autism. So far the children are showing less behavioral distress. We're seeing that with both typical children and children with autism spectrum disorders. The environment could be adapted for children who have different sensory problems. Even otherwise healthy kids like Jake Kirshen. He simply doesn't like going to the dentist. I was looking at the bubbles and it just kind of relaxed me and made me not feel as stressed out. The changes also worked for Sir, clearly calmer in the adapted environment. Erica Edwards, NBC News. Warning labels on popular pain relievers will now have stronger language about their risks of heart attack and stroke. The Food and Drug Administration announced the new warning that states heart attack and strokes can occur in the first few weeks of taking non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. 
They include over-the-counter pain relievers like Aleve, Advil, and Motrin. Currently, labels warn that pain relievers can increase the risk of heart-related problems if used long-term. The state budget crisis in Illinois is leaving local nursing home officials nervous about future funding. Governor Bruce Rauner and Democratic lawmakers are at odds with no budget in place since the fiscal year started July 1st. Administrators at St. Vincent's home in Quincy don't know what they'll receive from the state. They say that if more funding is cut, there could be layoffs. There's also concerns about the quality of future care. Well, the worst case scenario is that we won't be able to accept anybody on a Medicaid. Um, and if we can't do that, then we'll eventually close down. That's, that's just what it is. I'm sure the other nursing homes are in the same boat, you know, as far as that goes. Administrators obviously unsure of the outcome, but remaining hopeful. Next on WGEM News. A kid got softball getting one final postseason tune-up against one of the top teams in Iowa's largest class. Plus, a visit with Team Illinois as they prepare for Saturday's All-Star Baseball game at Clemens Field. And Luke Guthrie making an early statement at the John Deere Classic. Highlights and reaction from the Quincy, only moments away in sports. People just can't stop talking about Ford. And now during the Ford Summer Sales Event, get the best deals of the summer on our incredible lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. Nice. <laughs> I like that. All with the latest technology and style you'll love. So don't miss the Ford Summer Sales Event. Just announced on select vehicles, 0% financing for 72 months, plus no payments until fall. Only during the Ford Summer Sales Event. It's a no-coast vacation road trip at Casey's General Stores. Visit Casey's for spectacular road trip savings, like Powerade 32-ounce bottles, three for three thirty-three, dollars and large made-from-scratch pepperoni pizzas for only $11. Plus, discover the no-coast clue at any Casey's and enter to win a fabulous Winnebago road trip or other amazing prizes. It's all happening now at Casey's General Stores. Casey's, famous for pizza. Belarus, once part of the Soviet Union, performs a delicate balancing act. With so many lingering reminders of its communist past and a poor record on religious freedom. We have to register with the government, basically get the permission to meet as a church. How does Belarus plan to ease tensions with the West? I think what we're doing here today is checking each other out to see if there is a potential for relationship. On the 700 Club, Friday at 1 p.m. This portion of the news brought to you by Title Max. Turn your car into cash at Title Max. And now, sports with sports director Ben Mark. Well, a tie for 37th place might not sound good on paper, but Luke Guthrie felt his game was rounding into form following last week's Greenbrier Classic. Turns out he was right. Quincy native, all business at today's start to the John Deere Classic. Picturesque day in Silvis, Illinois, home of TPC Deer Run. And uh, this would be Guthrie on the 17th hole, eyeing yet another birdie, trying to track down his eighth of the day. That would scoot back with a beautiful approach, and Guthrie would calmly step right up to the putts, and he would knock it down. Moved to eight under par at that point. He had a share of the lead after his third straight birdie. Unfortunately for Guthrie, he would bogey the 18th, finished with a seven under par 64. Everybody is, well, chasing this guy and another individual, Justin Thomas, playing on a sponsor's exemption. He messed around and rolled an eight under 63 today. Leaderboard will show you that Thomas and Nicholas Thompson both have the lead at eight under. Guthrie just a shot back, tied for third overall heading into the second round. And his focus remains on trying to remain consistent and play solid on Friday. This is the first round. You just got to put your head down and just play golf. I mean, if you start looking at the boards and try to protect anything, you're going to get flown by around here. So just, yeah, it's good conditions, obviously, today. And uh, I don't see it firming up for tomorrow, really. So come out and just try to put another round together. 
Guthrie, 64, matching his career best at TPC Deer Run. He fired the same score in 2012 in route to a fifth place finish. He's going to tee off his second round bright and early tomorrow morning, 7-10. The countdown to the third annual Missouri versus Illinois All-Star Baseball game now less than 48 hours. The guys from the land of Lincoln continuing to put in their final preparations tonight with a workout at Griggsville Perry High School. Tornado skipper Mark Cheatham coaching Team Illinois says Saturday's affair is extra special for him and his players. You know, first of all, to be selected, um, it's just an honor. I mean, it's a great opportunity. I mean, how often do you get to coach some of the best kids in the area? You know, this game is all about the kids. So we want to get them as many innings as possible and um, just let them have a good time. I mean, how many times do they get to play in a field like Clemens Field? So, you know, it's, uh, it's an honor they've earned and just let them go out with a good taste in their mouth. As expected, the Illinois roster featuring some of the top talent from this past spring. It includes a total of 11 players from Griggsville Perry and Quincy Notre Dame, minus Justin Tallman, who continues to nurse a shoulder injury suffered in the sectional semifinals. The group of Tornadoes and Raiders planning to give it their all, considering it's the last time they'll be teammates. Uh, this game means a lot to me. It's, it's going to be my last game uh, playing with some of my best friends and uh, some other great athletes out there. And it's kind of memorable for me. It means a lot. I mean, Quincy Notre Dame's been my past four years. I mean, they've been through it all with me, I guess. I mean, you could say that. We're all family over there, too. So it's just going to be nice to go out and represent them one more time. Now, between the two rosters, there were 48 players selected to suit up for Saturday's contest. The game's scheduled to start at 7 o'clock at Clemens Field in Hannibal. We're going to check in with Missouri coming up tomorrow night at 6. Softball tonight. Keokuk getting ready for the postseason, taking on the number three ranked Cedar Rapids Jefferson squad in Class 5A. Bailey Clamp, a two run double here, would tie things up at two runs apiece. That came in the bottom of the first. Bottom four, Michaela Davis is your hitter. She's going oppo, and she would hit the gas. Here that would bring home a couple of more. Kika tying this game right back up at four runs apiece. Then it's Mackenzie Peasley doing her thing as well. Scoots through the second baseman. Kika is on top. 5-4. We went to the seventh inning, all tied at five runs apiece when Cedar Rapids Jefferson really sorted to enforce their will. They would score nine runs in the seventh inning. Keokuk falls 14-5, to your final. Keokuk does know now its first-round region opponent because Fort Madison, a 10-2 loser tonight at Mount Pleasant. Lady Chiefs will host Mount Pleasant in the region semifinals coming up at Saturday night at 7 o'clock. And from Major League Baseball, the Cardinals continuing where they left off off last night at Wrigley Field. A 4-1 win over the Pirates tonight. St. Louis now four and a half up on the Pirates, of course, as things switch to uh, the second game of the series. That's it in sports. Final word next. The most precious things in your life need extra care. Colgan Water Purification Systems can keep your family's water clean and healthy. Colgan. Better water, pure and simple. Captain Comfort. We repair all makes, all models, giving you better air quality, affordability, and comfortability. Elum Heating and Air Conditioning. Nearly a quarter of teens reply to text messages while driving. Talk to your teen driver about the risk. Tunes, not text. Put down the phone. Turn on the tunes. This is the WGEM Community Calendar with upcoming events from the Tri-States. A busy weekend for ice cream socials. This Saturday and Sunday, there will be several events. For a complete list, visit WGEM.com Community Calendar. Rushville's Community Band will be playing in concert this Sunday evening, July 12th, at Rushville's beautiful Central Park starting at 7 p.m. And Kids Day will be held at the Round Barn Area Barn Museums by the Adams County Fairgrounds South of Menden, Sunday, July 12th, from 1 to 5 p.m. There will be a petting zoo, rope making, and games. 
tonight, Fallon has Colin Farrell with his true confessions. Could I have done such a thing? Plus a couple's massage with Jason Schwartzman. <laughs> and Elmo Cooks. Elmo's a horrible chef. Then Seth has Channing Tatum. The Tonight Show, The Late Night, NBC Tonight. This committed bachelor just got grandfathered. Huh. And the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon. Not funny. John Stamos, Grandfather, Tuesdays this fall on Fox. With the Tour de France this week, riders have had a lot of trouble staying on their bikes with big crashes becoming the norm. But one fan along the course today found a way to stay above it all. You have got to see this. Look at this. Oh, this crazy. guy has a view that just can't be bought. He's rigged a bicycle <laughs> suspending it from the arm of a lift truck. This is right beside the road that the racers are on, as you can see. And the riders... Well, they, they don't seem to be bothered by this man, but uh, he won't run into any traffic jams up there. He is heading in the wrong direction, though. Uh, that would yeah. be distracting for riders. Can you imagine if you're if you're riding? How can you not look up at that? The dude is. How kooky. long does he stay up there just while the big crowd passes? Uh, Who it's, knows? He's a kook. At least he could wave. He's just <laughs> he's not getting away. Right. He's balancing. You're, he's right. He's there. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's going to do it for us tonight at 10. We don't have anything else. That's it. That's <laughs> it. That'll be it for us. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a good night.